A long, long time ago, in 1914, there was an armored car. Hello and welcome there skill modelers to my small hobby YouTube channel. My name is Tomo and today we're going to be taking a look at a 1914 to 1920 armored car from Mang. Mm. This thing is beautiful. Last week I've covered a Mang model T90A. If you missed that, go and check it out in the previous video. If not, well, this is another one. Like the tank, this one also caught my eye at our suppliers because it is 1914, World War I, which is really not that covered. The reason that I say this is because not many manufacturers make uh, models from that period. I believe this is a really nice looking car, Rolls Royce armored car, and you can paint it in four different paint schemes. What do you get when you buy the car? Well, apart from a cool box art, some P parts that replicate the spoke wheels, uh, rubber wheels and rotating turret and two different types of body trim which is basically just fenders and lights not much <laughs> all kidding aside it's really a nice model and these are the specs as you can see it's a relatively fresh model it came out this year and it has a relatively low part count around 160 65 ish something like that so what else is there to say but to open the box up, look at the parts and have some fun. Let's jump on in. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Behold, the main box. Unlike the previous box that I've reviewed, this one actually has some very cool box art. As you can see, the Rolls Royce on the front cover in the desert. It's a 1914 to 1920 version. And I'm guessing that they actually used it in the Second World War as well, although this is a First World War era car. But you have many options with this one. Well, many couple of options, to be honest. It looks like this from this side, and you have AK Interactive's color uh, listed on the part uh, on the box. And then, of course, like this on this side. And we get like this on this side. And like this. And on the back, there's nothing. So they made an effort with this box and uh, let's just open it up and see what's inside, right? Here we go. Lots of spruce. Now that you guys are sitting comfortably on my um, tripod, not that you know that, uh, let's take a look. So let's take a look at the first two sprues, which are identical. So I'll just show one and we can see some tires. Um, which you have to put together. And I'm guessing this is the spare tire that goes on the side. And we got some wheels and some other smaller parts. Uh, the casting is, again, very phenomenal. Uh, just like on the previous tank um, that I've reviewed, this one is also very nicely presented. Really crisp detail, um, nothing really crappy about it so far and the plastic is nice and uh, firm it's uh, almost like to me a type of plastic really so those are the two ones and let's take a look at the body I've already opened all the things up uh, you know before filming because you know that's how you do it <laughs> and this is the main body yeah it's a uh, pretty nicely detailed look at that raised detail all the rivets wow this is really nice on the on the inside you can you can't see anything but on the outside it's really really nice it's uh really cool looking look at that all that raised detail okay another big sprue that contains the bodywork for the well the machine gun nest and the upper turret that you have to assemble um oh look at that the machine gun so this is a machine gun that goes on top Look at that cast or mold or however you say it. It's a little bit bent because it's a very thin plastic. So you probably will have to be very careful with this one. Um, maybe there's some uh, PE parts that you can buy aftermarket PE parts. But even though this is just cast plastic, it's absolutely wonderful. Look at the hatches and all these stuff. Great. 
Let's look at the machine gun. Look at that. Two machine guns. I'll take you closer. See? Really nice defined detail. And no crappy mold lines. Well, not that I say that on the bottom there is. There's just a little bit of a line on the bottom. But, you know, even if you don't sand that, nobody's going to notice that anyway. But you probably will sand it. I mean, and then you have this really really fine detail the plastic is very um it's not soft it's hard well semi hard <laughs> um great stuff okay let's move along big sprue with leaf spring suspension and chassis and fenders oh and look at that transmission Exhaust pipe, wow. It's really just a wonderful piece of engineering. Really nicely defined. And this, this is a muffler? Is this a muffler or something? Yeah, this might be the muffler. Huh. Wow. I mean, yeah, this is crap on the on the other side, but uh. on this side it's just pristine and fantastic like it's supposed to be, and it's really, really, really nicely done. Okay, the last thing here is the little turret portion with some poly caps for the wheels. I didn't take this from the back because it's just a turret. And we got some rubber wheels uh, with nice thread, you can see. Cool. And this is really cool. PE parts. And look at that, the spokes for the wheels. Oh my god, that's really just another level and some decals that go on the side of the car but the P parts oh my god guys you have to put all these things inside this is really a uh, well this is I'm probably gonna test your patience because you know I'm guessing that's not very easy to put on because they're very thin look at those great stuff okay the decals are few, you know, just a couple of circles, but they look okay, they look nice. And then we have some clear parts, which are the lamps, of course, because you have two types of this vehicle you can build, um, so, you know, just lamps and, of course, the all important manual. Let's take a look at the color manual first for painting. Um, you can have this color or this British color. See the decals, how they go on top. It's pretty cool. And it opens up and you also have two more camouflage patterns. This one is really nice. Although, you know, in a respect, this one could be good as well, but I really like this one. I mean, this was an awesome camo pattern. Awesome, awesome. This is a 1940 camo pattern. This is a 1942 camo pattern, wow. From Egypt. What's this? This is uh, 1914 to 1916, and this is uh, 1920. REF. Wow. Okay. And then we have the manual, which is a black and white booklet. It's pretty good. Look, look, there's many, many pages. So let's briefly take a look at the car assembly. So you have to decide which, you know, type of car you have to build, and then you have to, of course, make the decision during the build which type you will assembling one or the other it mainly to do with the fenders and the lights everything else is kind of the same so you got how this thing goes together the ammo box is on the side the armor plates suspension and leaves and it's like wow look at that the fenders it's pretty cool Let's go over. Here are the wheel assembly. Wow, that's this is um, this is gonna test your patience. <laughs> so you have to bend them to make them look authentic. And poly caps in the side, in the side, in the middle. Awesome, awesome. And then you have this, and then the final assembly, and of course the turret turns. So. 
and that's just the contents. So that was Mang. You've made it to the end of this video. Congratulations. Why don't you pat yourself on the back and subscribe by celebrating. Thank you so very much for watching if you haven't. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing. And I'll see you again soon in the next one. Bye bye.